guys, how are you doing? And welcome back to my YouTube channel. About the title, I'm sure you can, yeah, it's a mess. So this is a crazy story time. Let me just give you a bit of context. I was in my first year of uni, freshly 18 as well. No, this is my second, this is my second year in uni actually. This happened in October of 2018. Yeah, October 2018. There was this guy that I, I had seen him around in my first year. I remember this particular occasion when I was talking to my friend, I'm all talking whatever, and he tried to like intercept the conversation. And I remember vividly just running away from him, like as a jokey type of way, but I don't know why I always took it seriously. I don't know, like I didn't know him. I didn't know much about him, like, I just always made it a joke when I saw him that I'd run away and like not really speak to him. So there was one day I went out to a motive. Yeah, there was an event happening that day. So I was chilling outside now, outside the party. And then I saw him and this time I wasn't with any of my friends. He's none of his friends were around, but he came to speak to me. I don't even know what we're talking about. I can't remember what we're talking about now. Like, I cannot remember, I kid you not. But I remember he was just making jokes. I think he was just being silly and I was laughing type of thing. That was the first time I spoke to him and I thought, oh, you're not that weird, you seem quite cool. So he asked him my Snapchat and I thought, yeah, friend of a friend, that's all right. I gave him my snap. So fast forward to like, I would say, the middle of October, there was one day I just finished uni. I studied architecture, so architecture. But I had like my big project folder and like my bag. What I was carrying, my books and stuff like that were very heavy. I don't live too far from campus as well. So I was literally just about to walk home. I tried to avoid him, but he already like saw me. I thought, let me actually stop and talk to him. Let me not be horrible. So I've stopped now. Just catching up, like, oh, where are you coming from uni? How are you? I'm good. How are you? He's coming from uni as well. He was like, oh, what, are you hungry? I was like, nah, I'm okay, I'm going home. And he was like, oh, let's go Nando's. I was like, nah, I'm okay. Like, I even got books on me, like. I was just making excuses because I thought, I don't really know you to spend time with you like that. And he was so persistent, like, he will be like, why not, man? Come eat, like, I'll buy you Nando's. I was like, yeah, I'm not hungry, I'm all right. And my books are heavy. And it was a five minute walk he tried to, like, um, persuade me and I was just like no I'm okay I'm fine no it's fine I'm okay it's fine I'm okay it's fine it got to the point where I had to be like to him do you know what? okay cool like I'll go home drop my bags and I'll shout you and then we can go Nando's like he was like right, cool cool say nothing say nothing say nothing make sure you shout me and yeah, make sure you shout me and I was like yeah yeah I'll shout you so I've gone home now and immediately dropped my bags I made in the meat straight away like I made food I was it on purpose I just feel like that's what I thought to eat that day, do you know what I mean? I didn't think I was gonna eat Nando. And then he does me right. And then he's messaged me, he's like, oh, like, you ready to go Nando? He's like, where you at? I was like, oh no, I've just ate, like, yeah, I might have to reschedule that. <laughs> and he was like, oh, we can go creams. I know you're gonna want dessert. I was just thinking, why do you want me to eat so bad? And I was like, no, I'm okay. You might be hungry, don't like, let me know. And I was like, yeah, cool, <laughs> I'll let you know. Two or three hours later, I think he messaged me, but I ignored him because I was just like, this is too much now. It's, it's becoming harassment, like this is this is a lot. <sighs> Guys, so that was probably the last time I spoke to him and saw him for a while, until the night of Halloween. Me and my friend were going to town to analyze like, our Halloween outfits or like something we're gonna wear to go out that evening. I think I must have snapped I was in town. Like if you go to town and I even snap like so much as the floor, you will know I'm in town kind of thing. Like Leicester town is kind of obvious to know if you're dead so he's messaging me on snap now he's like oh um are you in town i'm in town you want to go nando's and i was just like this brother and nando's and i was like no i'm okay and he was like oh i'm in nando's now like let me know what i should what you want to order and i'll just bring it to you and i was just thinking ah oh <laughs> i was thinking to myself what does this boy want i've said no i've said no i've said no now you want to bring it to me i was like do you know what whatever whole chicken chips garlic bread chocolate cake with cream where i lived was just so central that it's hard to not know where i live like he already kind of knew where i lived just didn't know exactly what house he was just like to outside so i've let him up now and um this was just this was just so dumb but first i don't know in uni like that whole sense of like security and that sense of like someone could be a weirdo like i was very young and naive. Like, i was literally 18 and i just wanted to make friends and i was cool with everyone like I kid, yeah, Pff, boy. So yeah, I let him up now. I just noticed he's got a really big backpack. And I just thought, raw like, while going with this guy, like, I just thought to myself, why has he got a big backpack? Did he not come from town? I thought, anyways, whatever. So he's giving me the food now. I don't know why I didn't eat. Like, I was actually hungry, because I remember we woke up early, we went to town, I hadn't actually grabbed breakfast or anything, or eaten anything that day. I think I bit a chip, and that was it. Like, I didn't even, I didn't, like, eat 
eat, eat the food. I, I didn't even eat it. And I thought to myself, I don't know why I'm not hungry, but I'm not going to eat this. I think I bit a chip and was just a bit like, Ugh, put the chip back in the box and just push the box to the side. While we were chilling, he was actually quite cool. Like, I didn't think it was weird. We were making jerk, like, we were having banter. Like, it was calm. We were just chilling. And then he was like, oh, do you have, do you have any juice in the house? And I was like, yeah, we've got juice. We've got Fanta and fruit to us. And he was like, oh, can you get, like, juice and some cups? He's got alcohol. And I was thinking, why do you have, I mean, I was thinking, why does he have alcohol? But then I thought, to be honest, you know, like, I don't know, like, it was a magnum, was it like a, like a bottle of alcohol? We had magnum. So I thought, okay, cool, that's fine, like, okay, whatever. Oh, thinking about it, looking back on this story now, I'm just, like, such a, Priscilla, why? Like, I feel like such a parent, like, oh, God, this young girl was so naive, so naive. So I've gone to my kitchen now, I've came back with the with the two glasses or three glasses because my friend was there and Fanta Fruit Twist and this is when it started to go left like really left I'm gonna put this question to you guys yeah when you when you're drinking alcohol yeah do you usually like pour the alcohol and then your mixer like, this is just a question like let me know in the comments what you guys do but the way he poured my our drinks it made me very like it made me like very uncomfortable and he was saying something as well and he had asked for the glass and the juice he was like oh i'm gonna mix you guys a secret potion and then i thought to myself alarm bells went off what do you mean by secret potion my guy like automatically i then thought to myself right like what does he mean by that like my mind couldn't like come off that like it was very like what is he talking about what, what does he mean like what does that mean? He poured the Fanta Fruit Twist, which is like very cloudy, like Fanta Fruit Twist, if you know Fanta Fruit Twist, it's a cloudy drink, like you can't see through it. That's for example, I've poured Fanta Fruit Twist and I've poured Sprite. You wouldn't see what the Sprite looks like because the Fanta Fruit Twist is a very cloudy colored drink. And he's got a Magnum bottle. So that's the form of alcohol that he wanted to mix. And I can't see through a magnum bottle. You know when you open a new, a new like a magnum or anything with that kind of lid, it kind of has a like a sound that you freshly opened it. I didn't remember hearing that. So I, when he's pouring this drink, my mind is just going off, off, off. Like my spirit is just like, uh-uh, uh-uh. Like the alarm bells were just going off. So I've watched him now pour the drink. Like he's poured the Fanta Fruit Twist and then he's poured the magnum and when he's poured it as soon as he's poured the magnum my spirit is just like priscilla you cannot like drink this drink like my spirit was just like no my mom always tells me like, she's always been telling me priscilla listen to your spirit listen to your spirit listen to your spirit like your spirit is always that very calm and collected voice and i was like okay god if that's you and i can't drink this drink then please find a way to, for this drink to go like for it to spill not even to i didn't even say spill because i had no like i didn't i didn't know if i was actually hearing god but that was the first time i'd ever heard god audible in my in my ears ever like ever in my life and i'll never i won't actually never forget i'll never forget that ever oh goosebumps <laughs> i will never forget that ever so when i've now heard that i'm like god like please find a way for this drink to just go like to just go maybe we forget about it maybe i don't drink it please just for it to go and i got guys guys i love this girl so much for this particular moment because literally within seconds my friend kicked the cup over by accident like she kicked it over and the full contents of that cup spilled all over the floor guys i kid you not i kid you not everything and the maddest thing is that like i didn't even have the drink in the way of anything like she wasn't going anywhere she didn't get up like i think she just stretched her leg or something like that and literally like the drink spill and you know when your drink spills yeah I don't know if in your house it spills like there will still be some of the drink still in the glass like the whole glass was empty and in that moment i was like raw god you're with me like you're here like obviously I'd, I'd always been to church and I always knew about God and I always knew that God was with us but I think that was the first time in my life I ever experienced like God's mindfulness of me oh like oh <laughs> guys 
even we say in this story, this happened, this happened in 2018, so 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. This happened four years ago, but right now this story is like, ah, wow, God is so good. Automatically, I picked up my glass, I went to the kitchen, and I opened my cupboard and I just poured juice, so much like poured juice. I poured my own juice and I drank it until like, I was like quenched. But my mindset was just, just to not drink anything by accident or like, I don't know. And I was thinking like, God, why? Like what's, go like, what's going on? Like, what's going on? And then my friend's coming to the kitchen. She was just like, you okay? And so oh, I'm so sorry I spoiled a drink. I was like, no, honestly, like, I feel like that guy was trying to do something with the drink. He said something about, a secret potion and obviously she was there she heard but i just re like brought reference to the fact that he said something about a secret potion and how my spirit was just like i can't drink that and i literally was praying when he spilled it over as we're just in the kitchen deliberating he's now called i can hear him saying oh like get another glass like come let me pour you a drink and i was just like hey pour you a drink <laughs> I was just so uneasy like and I was thinking why does this guy want me to drink so bad and I came back and I was like oh no I've, I just had juice like it's fine don't worry about it it's fine I was just stunned I was literally just stunned I think we chilled for like probably like 10 minutes or more I think this is the first time I've ever been conscious of my spirit like conscious conscious of my spirit so even now till today that voice I can still hear it but my spirit was telling me um go and check your bathroom because he kept coming in and out of there so i was like oh okay like i'll go check so i've gone into my bathroom and i'm just looking around and my spirit was like check the cupboard i was like okay spirit so i've opened the cupboard now and i've seen something like i've seen like it was like a little oil bottle and it had some arabic i had some i don't know i don't even know i don't know if it's arabic but it looked like arabic i don't speak i don't know what arabic is you know what i mean so i can't really tell but it looked like arabic and it had the writing around the little glass bottle with some yellow liquid in it, it looked like oil that's how i perceive it to be oil and i looked at that and i was like i showered this morning this is not mine and I, when i showered this morning i didn't see that in there so I'm just like, okay, cool. This is getting very crazy now. I've closed the cupboard, I've walked out of there. I've gone to my friend, go into the bathroom and look around and tell me if you find anything in there that's not yours. Cause I didn't want to throw her off. And I just wanted her to just tell me if there's anything in there that she put in there. She's gone to check, she's come back. She's like, Priscilla, what is that? Priscilla, what is that? Priscilla, I said, bro, this man needs to leave my house now and like in my spirit i was starting to get like i want to say angry but you know when your, your spirit's just like you think you can mess with a child of god if you think you come to my house you think you can come to my house where i lay my head and do your rubbish when i'm a child of god like in my, i just felt like what this man needs to get out i'm just like he needs to get out he needs to get out he needs to get out. my friend's just like just chill just chill just chill like let's tell him to get out of the room. i said no he needs to go with that thing and get out of there like he needs to take it with him and get out of my house so we're deliberating i'm just like pacing i'm just like no but what is like what like what does he think he's come here to do like in my mind i think what does he think he's come to do like i've let you in my house as a friend like, i'm thinking like, why are you so stupid why did you let him into your house what was in the drink what was the plan like, my mind was going hell to scatter it was going everywhere like i was literally like what is going on i've now said no like i can't leave that in my house and he's not leaving here without it so i've gone into the bathroom now prayed like i braced myself because i really i really do believe that touch not my anointing and do my prophet no harm like i feel like there's no harm that can come on me on this earth when i serve god and i believe in jesus christ that came to die for our sins like i believe in that covering and that protection so i picked it up now i've gone into the room and been like what is this he looks at me and he can't even, he can't even like tell me what it is. He's just like, like he looked shocked. And I was, he was like, that's mine. I was like, yeah, take it and get out of my house right now. Take it and get out of my house. I've given it to him. He literally just like scampered and ran out of the house. And I was just in shock. Like this guy really thought he can come up here and, and, and poison me in my own house. He thought he could poison me in my own house, but God, you know in every like story in the bible and it but god like that was this is literally my testimony but god because if not for god where would i have been where would i be today 
what I would be drinking, I would be slurping Fanta Free Twist without knowing. Do you know what I mean? If I didn't have God in my life, like, he's now left now. My friend was like, let's go. So we've left the house now to make sure he's like left, like not, cause our house is like a flat there's stairs. So we followed him like out, like to make sure he left the actual building and he's gone away. And we're walking just like in shock. And I kid you not, like less than five minutes than we've left the house. We're literally about to walk to the end of our road. Her mum calls her and was like, oh, I was just praying and I thought, you know, I'd pray with you. And I looked at her and I was just like, like what? I was in complete shock. I was like, what? Her mum's praying, praying for her, praying for us as well. And like the things that she's praying for, it's almost as if she knows what we've just experienced. Like it's almost as if she was here with us, like just for covering, no weapon formed against us, we'll have prosperity, just blessing us. I'm thinking like, wow. So we've now got back to the house now after her mum prayed, because we're just like walking outside. And then we've now walked into the house, we've got like our anointing oil, we've got our holy water and we just started to sprinkle everywhere, like sprinkle the house, like drench the house, pray, praying, 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 like just to bless the house, like whatever he thought he can come in and bring in here, it'll follow him out. And that like God will just cover our house with love, Jesus, for protection and everything like that. And we still plan to go out because our friend was DJing at this event for Halloween. So um, we kind of still got ready, got dressed. Like, I was very shaken up, I can't lie, I was very shaken up. I didn't want to go as well, but um, I didn't want anything to ruin my evening or for it to, it to win or triumph over how I felt in that moment. So we just got ready, we went out. And I think on my way out, he texted me and he was like, I wouldn't go out if I was you. And I just thought like, are you trying to threaten me? Or like, what? I'm not sure. I just ignored um, the message and still went out, enjoyed the evening. And yeah, like I can't like I was shaken up for a minute. And after that, like, I did not let anyone I didn't know into my home. That happened on Halloween night. And I don't know if that was like a Wednesday or no, I don't remember what day that was. I think it was a Thursday or Wednesday. But fast forward to like Sunday. Um, my mum usually just calls me randomly and we just be this Sunday she just called me and she was like oh how are you I was meant to call you on like Tuesday or um yeah Tuesday or Wednesday just to see how you are and I was like yeah I'm fine she's like yeah I had a dream I wanted to tell you to watch what you drank and what you ate literally burst into tears after she said that like, i was crying my eyes out and then she was like to me priscilla what what's happening what's happening what's happening what's happening what's happening and i was just crying like mom mom and i was crying i was crying and after i calmed down <clears throat> i basically explained to her what had happened and she was like yeah she had a dream and she fasted and prayed over it and she was meant to call me and warn me but i think it slipped her mind but she thought she'll call me later because she's fasting and praying over it and she's like not worried again and from that moment i just like i had a i had a whole different approach to faith and like god i'd say that was a <clears throat> that was one of the most pinnacle moments in my life for me that made me realize like wow god is really mindful of us as individuals and everything that we do as individuals <sighs> i was taken aback like i still saw him around but i never spoke to him never engaged in conversation but yeah that was that very crazy story of how i got poisoned or almost got poisoned in uni god is so important god is so important because if i didn't have god in that moment only god knows where and what could have happened to me in that moment when he gave me that drink like i hope you guys enjoyed the story time love you guys and appreciate you guys and guys stay blessed bye <laughs>